Yo, what's poppin' my people? It's your big homie, Crooks the Great, aka CTG, and I'm back at you guys with another banger of an undisputed video. And man, oh man, do I have a special video today because we are gonna be looking at the official patch notes for the, the update that's gonna be happening on Undisputed. So let's go ahead and get straight into the information. Uh, article reads, hey, fight fans, thank you for the support since the launch of Undisputed. We know that some critical issues are having an impact on the game experience, particularly for our online players, and we appreciate uh, how frustrating they can be. We shared an update with you a few weeks ago on some key issues, outlining the plan to resolve them in our first scheduled update in mid-December. We're happy to share that after several weeks of work on some of these critical issues, we're able to deliver an interim update today with the list of changes below while maintaining our plans for December and future updates. All right, so let's get into the updates. I, I wanted to read that statement right there to you guys because it shows that they are listening to the community, which is a welcome site because we know other companies that don't do so. Uh, we're not going to name them, but they don't do that. So the patch notes. Change uh, changes to the block colliders to ensure that block functions as expected and the number of power shot of power punches that break through the block is greatly reduced. Power punch spammers. This one is for yo ass right here. No more power punch spammers. You're not going to be able to break the block as easily as you were obviously in the game right now. That's going to be taken away. And that is one of the most welcome sites for any undisputed player regardless of if you're if you're trying to grind the game to be one of the best players or not. So the second change is going to be Deontay Wilder's stats have been reduced and we're and we've removed a trait his power hooks should now be less impactful. That is also a welcome sight because if you play heavyweight, you know Deontay Wilder is broken as hell, man. So they have specifically gone out and nerfed Deontay Wilder's stats and taken away one of his traits to try to tone him down in the heavyweight division. So once again, listening to the community, we love it. I love to see it, but let's go on. Uh, the next thing is they increased the max stamina cost of hooks and straights. So that stamina, that 70% stamina that a lot of people tend to get away with when they're throwing high volume amount of strikes, that's now going to cost them in terms of their, their max long-term stamina. Uh, they increased the cost of power punches to both short-term and max stamina. So no more 250 power punches in a fight because then you're just going to get drained the hell out. So that's something that I personally have been asking for. Um, they introduced a threshold uh, on the number of power punches that can be thrown within a single fight before the stamina cost per power punch is increased further. All right, so this one I'm, I'm not really too sure about. So maybe they set like a number of power punches that can be thrown before it starts to really just tax the hell out of your stamina. That's one. Uh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna do more research on this one and really find out exactly what this entails. But I believe that's what it means. There's gonna be a set number of power punches that you can throw before they start really just taxing the hell out of your stamina. But then again, it's a, it's, a, it's a much needed thing on power punch spammers. All right, the next one is they increase the stamina cost of pushing, which should reduce the amount of people spamming the push mechanic. This one is low-key underrated, but it is going to take such a big effect on online players because you guys have probably run into it. Power punch spammers, they punch you, they punch you. And then once you hurt them, they just start pushing you. Just start pushing you. Just start pushing you. It's one of the most annoying things to have to deal with in the game. But they've taken it out. They've made it to where it's going to cost you more stamina. And it's also going to... Um, it's probably also going to, to drain your stamina down. So that's a really, really welcome sight. And probably the most underrated thing that you're going to see on the patch notes. Right, the next thing is that they temporarily reduced the critical stun stumble reaction from the game as it was too punishing. This one was absolutely atrocious. Um, if you got hit with a power shot, yeah, you were you were gonna get wobbled and then you were gonna eat a three to four piece combination, and it was absolutely ridiculous. 
They uh they fixed an issue or they reduced the effectiveness and chainability of hooks by further slowing them down when a fighter is gassed. That's a welcome sight. Uh, they fixed an issue that would prevent players from moving if they entered flat-footed movement while fighting on the outside. This is going to make fluid footwork actually a thing, and I'm really really happy about that. Um, and then on Xbox and PC Steam, rank quitters should now receive a loss on their record and the remaining players should receive a win. The fix for PlayStation is taking longer than we'd like and will hopefully be part of the December update. All right, so Xbox and PC, y'all are going to get something that we're not going to have on Xbox. That's unfortunate for me because I'm a PlayStation player, but at least they are addressing it. So I love to see it, man. I really, really love to see it because that's something that a lot of the community has been complaining about. Right, and it says, as mentioned, another update will be released mid-December, which will contain further bug fixes as well as new features, improvements, and content for you guys to enjoy. But man, oh man, that's a meat-packed new patch update for Undisputed. And I think, for me personally, this is, this is all that I could have asked for from Undisputed, man. I'm not going to front with you guys. I think they did a great job of listening to the community and actually fixing the issues that everybody in the community seems to be having with Undisputed because it makes the game super not enjoyable with what's going on right now. But the light at the end of the tunnel is there, my people. Once they drop this update, I feel like the game is going to be in a way better place. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys... Do you guys, are you guys loving the pat, the changes that they're going to have in the patch? Do you guys think that there's something that they missed in the patch? I want to hear what your guys' opinion is on this issue or on this new updated undisputed patch. So I can't wait to see all the comments in the comment section. I'm going to be responding to every single one of them. But until next time, my people, if you guys are new, uh, make sure to slap that subscribe button as well as slap that like button. It'd be much appreciated so that when this video does get tossed into the YouTube algorithm. But until next time. Take it easy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.